Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. It is the 1st of May. So we welcome May. It came in beautifully. Beautiful weather today. Not too hot, not too cold, but they're talking about severe thunderstorms heading our way with possible tornado warnings. So we'll stay indoors and brave the storm. I want to answer a couple of questions that some viewers were asking and one of them has nothing to do with printing. They wanted to know what camera I use. It is an AEE S72T. The T stands for touch screen. Very nice. And as you can see, the quality is amazing. Now for my outdoor type work, I have been using this one here because I just don't want to move the one that I have permanently mounted on my tripod. And this is a slightly different type of camera, different brand, SJ Cam. And the SJ Cam is one of the most popular, most well-regarded action cams that are the so-called knockoffs of the GoPro type variety cameras. This particular one is the older SJ 5000X. Beautiful footage though, as you can see from the few uh, videos that I've been doing in my family video playlist. We did the video of the egg hunt Easter Sunday and then we did the birthday party just recently and also the metro trip down to Union Station Washington DC with that very same camera and you saw how well the footage uh, looked, how well it handled different lighting situations. So that's that's done. Those two cameras are my main go-to cameras that I use. I also use my regular Canon video cam, which is the regular um, 1080p type camera that I use a lot as well. All right. This is going to be about being able to print with OEM inks on your printer, but not spend a fortune. I have been saying this over and over again. I scour eBay on a daily basis. Yes, I can do that because I'm retired. But a lot of you should do this on a nightly basis. Just ten, spend 10 minutes and do so and you will find bargains. Just the other day, in fact, just three days ago, I found two individuals selling PGI 29 cartridges for the Pro One, brand new OEM ones. Okay, various reasons as to why these people are selling these. I got two chrome optimizers. I got five matte black cartridges. And the reason is they just don't use them. These people make prints for sale and they print daily. So they never encounter that preempted cleaning cycle, which will use ink from all the 12 cartridges and not just the ones that you may be using if you are, for example, printing on just glossy. Therefore, you will not be using matte black or matte material therefore you will not be using chrome optimizer print daily they go through set after set after set of ink and then they are left over with these extra cartridges which they offer at how much how much did i pay eight dollars a piece plus shipping shipping was about ten dollars total so not bad not bad at all considering they sell from 38 to 42 dollars depending on your source now, another source, let me take some mm, coffee here from my throat. I use OEM inks almost exclusively on my Epson printers. Why? I, again, look all the time for these types of deals on large format cartridges that use the correct ink for any of my K3 based nine color Epson pigment printers. I probably paid $19, $20 for this 110 ml cartridge. Now, you might say, well, I can get third party inks for a lot cheaper than that. Sure, but you're printing with OEM. I don't care what source of third party ink you are using, it will not come close to OEM, regardless of what you do. You can come relatively close, but it will never match. Okay. So, by using these techniques, go on eBay, sometimes you will not be able to find anything reasonably priced, but often you will if you are just persistent and you look constantly. So the question was, Mr. Joe, how do you harvest these inks? I have access to these carts, but I don't know how to harvest the inks. Well, 
You can use a plain tip syringe, but it's a pain in the neck. The reason being, the puppet valve will seal against that plain tip and you will not be able to extract ink. You will have to twist it laterally and there's a chance that you might harm the valve itself, especially if you want to reuse that cartridge because you, know, you can actually modify these and actually use them as if they were refillable. And if you follow me long enough, you know that I've done that with all of my T58s for the 3800 and 3880. These are all refillable now. And I, of course, refill them with what? OEM ink only. All right, so basically you will need one of my special tips. I sell these on my special ordering site, the one that I use for the PGI 29 modified cartridges that I sell for the Pro One. There, there's a link as well for ordering a set of these. It'll be a set of nine for $12.50. I believe that's what it is, including shipping. And these have been machined to contain a slot right down the middle. Those little slots allow for lateral displacement of ink, either if you're drawing ink out or pushing ink into a refillable modified OEM Epson cart. So let's go ahead and show you how simple this is. We're just going to insert the refilling tip or ink withdrawing or ink harvesting tip and you're going to hold it vertically like this because remember there's an ink bag inside and that contains the ink and then we're going to just draw back and that is it remove it no mess nothing is dripping and now you have ink that you can put in a little bottle or again with one of these types of tips you should be able to get your refillable Epson cartridge, say for the 2880, 2400, even the ones for the R3000, the P600, and you can fill in this manner. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna to try to give you a close up where you will notice that the priming chamber is empty, okay? Now the only way normally is to fill from the top and then create a vacuum and draw back and that will force ink into the priming chamber but this is so much easier watch keep an eye on the priming chamber you saw it get full immediately get full that will allow you to immediately allow the card to feed ink to the print head and you can fill the whole card in this manner using a reverse feeding method or filling method but you need one of my tips to do that these are very rare I buy them without the notch. They're not meant for this. And I machine the notch in my machine shop. And so I can do it accurately and basically perfectly. So they have been designed to the correct depth, the correct width of the notch. And it works flawlessly. And here we go. Now I could use this if I want to top fill easily. I can just top fill with the uh, little bottle. And again, no mess, no fuss, perfect. No ink on my hands, perfect. All right, that is it. Thank you so much. I hope this answers everybody's questions that they may have had about harvesting ink from large format Epson cartridges. Again, check on eBay, guys. I often see like sets of nearly, what they call nearly empty. That's what this is, a nearly empty cart. But it had about 50 ml of ink in it. And I bought a set of nine of them for about maybe, I don't know, I think it was like $50 or something like that. I've been able to obtain ink out of those cartridges and fill multiple times some of my printers. Remember, the little 13 ml capacity that these cartridges hold. How much does this cost to buy new if you were buying an OEM cart new? About $15, $20 a piece? Well, I can fill it up for about a dollar. So there you go. So that is the motivation that should prompt you to start looking on eBay. And again, there goes my secret. And I may have a hard time finding these little treasures because now everybody knows about it. Thanks to me. <laughs> Anyway, that's great. I have a ton of ink anywhere. I have so much ink, I probably won't use it up for four years. So that is actually great for me to be able to pass on these little uh, tips 
to you guys so that you too can afford to print with your OEM. That's not saying that you should give up on third-party inks. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm still a huge user of third-party inks from Inkjet Mall, from Precision Colors, from Ink Owl, and so on and so forth. So again, the best of both worlds, but you choose the very, very best if you're just going to use your printers to sell prints that you produce in them. You should be using a good OEM ink source, which is the top, top notch ink for your printer. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for all of the support. Patreon.com, keep going in there, forward slash J Toolman, and consider joining for just a dollar or two or whatever amount. I don't expect you to to donate, you know, $10 a month. No, that's ridiculous. Just a couple of dollars a month is all it takes. If a lot of you do that, it would be a piece of cake to get any printer that we need to get here to demonstrate that in front of you all before you guys set out and pay hard cash and then something goes wrong or you make the wrong choice. Let me make the wrong choice. And usually what I do with the printers that I do have is after a while, after the printer becomes old enough to no longer be relevant, I sell them off or give them away to local camera clubs. That's what I do. All right. The other source of income, of course, is just simply watch the ads. If they do pop up, allow them to run. Please watch the complete video. Don't skip from point to point because that is detrimental to the the way YouTube categorizes or classifies your video as far as uh, whether it's a popular video or not. If they see that only partially viewed, it's detrimental to the actual ranking of your channel. And so, yeah, try to look at everything that I rattle off and uh, that's very beneficial to the channel. All right, thank you so much. Again, don't forget to subscribe, share and like and until the next time, Hold on a second. Man, I needed that. Happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.